Well, the uh, Houston Rockets have become the sixth team to win 17 straight games. A couple of teams did it last season, as a matter of fact. The Suns and the Mavs both won 17 in a row, but Houston's rolling their 41 and 20, and the Mavs have lost three in a row, which matches their season-high losing streak. Um, I guess I should point out that you said all night long <laughs> Dallas would win this game. I was wrong. Even though Dirk Nowitzki was <laughs> really? not I thought they would win. But Dallas didn't play with any of passion tonight. You got to take your head off to Tracy McGrady. He played fantastic. And Ray for Austin played fantastic. It's good to hear you say that about T-Mac because you had some critical pointed things to say about him earlier that he uh, doesn't make his, his teammates better. No, no, no. I'm saying he's a ball stopper. Well, you said he doesn't make players better and doesn't get easy baskets. Just shoots tough fadeaways. That's, That's what true. That's what you said earlier tonight. But I think they're playing different without Yao Ming. They're playing at a much faster pace. Now, see, you remember if I said two ways uh, two weeks ago when he got hurt, the only way for uh, Houston to keep rolling is they've got the speed to tempo the game up and get easier baskets because they have become a standing jump shot shooter, the shooting team in the half court. So you don't tell me when I... They plan a lot faster. I like that. Uh, T Mac had 31 tonight, uh, and you know that Cheryl Miller was under the weather, so she wasn't working tonight. Yeah, so. and, 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 and Mike Pratello and Reggie Miller suck at doing the and interview. Well, so they so please know. hurry back. You mentioned Cheryl. Reggie, and, and after the game, he spoke with T Mac. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> All right, guys. Tracy McGrady, 31 points, nine assists, only one turnover, no dirt tonight. I know you were smiling in the interview. How'd you guys feel? Uh, we felt real confident. We're playing great basketball right now as a as a unit, and uh, you know it feels good to come in here and get a win. This team has really owned us in the past. Are you guys surprised at what you're doing right now? 17 in a row? No, not at all. We all believe, man. When you got a, a, a roster full of guys that really believe in themselves, uh, great chemistry amongst the team, and uh, we go out and play extremely hard every night. I'm not surprised. Now I came down on the elevator as you were getting on the bus, and you were shaking your head, and I'm like, "What's going on?" He's like. You know, your boy Charles is killing me. He says, I don't know how to lead my team. I've never known how to lead my team. And he predicted tonight that you guys, your streak would be snapped. Any words for Charles? I don't know. I really don't listen to Charles when it comes to basketball. Only time I listen to uh, Charles is if he's talking about some calories in a cupcake or something. <laughs> That's the only time. I don't pay no attention to him. I don't think he's sitting in the studio and watching games anyway. Charles, T-Mac, you got to give him a little love. Come on now. Back to you guys. Well, he played fantastic tonight. 